we're on different cameras here, but so for this one, what you did in the in the uh, first section, that that next new section, the interlude measure thirty eight, was the exact same lick as you did in the beginning. It's written out differently, but it's exactly the same lick. So you do, and then add your pinky, and you've got a four note picking pattern: one, two, three, four. Lift up, back to pointer finger, and it's one, two, three. And then lift up to open, one, two, three, and then one, two. It's all based on that A minor. Then we do that lick again. And then you have a four note pattern on open. And then a three note pattern. Then you lift up your ring. Another three note pattern and a two note pattern. And then you go back to the main lick. And another again, four note on the open. And then a three note on the pointer, a three note on the pinky. And then a two note. So all those are basically the same pattern. It's the lick, four, uh, let's see, lick, four, three, three, and two. Then lick, four, three, three, two, and then lick, four, three, three, and two. Cool? So I'm gonna put all that together. And we have those thirds where you went five, 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 slide it down, three, four, three, slide it down, one, two, one, and open. Cool? Sure. I do, um, the, what? I play the regular part first. Yes, the lick from the beginning. Okay. Play that first. Uh, uh, on, uh, 14. On, what do you mean 14? I start on 14, right? What do you mean 14? Are you talking measure 14? Measure 14. It's, it's the exact 14. thing, that, yeah. So we're on measure 38. Then but I that... go to 28, and then I finish there, and then I go to to 36 or whatever, right? Oh, okay, so we're just playing measure 38. The first lick in measure 38 is exactly like the first lick you learned in measure 14. Cool? Okay. Make sense? Yeah. There's no jumping around here, it's just that that's the same. Those those licks, this little thing is the exact same thing in both those spots, at measure 38 and at measure 14. You've already learned measure 14, so you know that. Okay. Cool? Yep. And then there's a pattern so, that you've already done with, with the added notes and all. Is that cool? Yes, I okay. think so. Now the next section, all it is, is a C chord with a pinky added, and you're just plucking some notes out. So now we're looking at measure 48, right, the bridge, or 46, the bridge. There's a C chord with a pinky added, and you're picking those notes out, and then arpeggiating, and there's a couple added notes there, but, but most of that is based on the C chord. The next measure is the G, G over B7 one. Again, you're just picking out some of the notes there, adding a note. But that's all basically G over B7. The next measure is A minor, and it's basically the same as the first measure we just played. The We're just going to do that same thing with A minor. It's the exact same thing, just instead of holding C, you hold an A minor. And then for the next measure after that, it's the exact same thing we did with G over B, but with a regular G bass. So instead of this, you have this. And that's that whole section. So it's a C chord with a pinky added, G over B, an A minor with the pinky added, and then a G chord. So those first two measures are basically what you have to learn, and then it just changes the bass note for the next two measures. And then it comes back and does the first two measures again, and you're, and, and you're basically done with that section. It goes through, G over B, A minor, G A. Again, C, and A minor, and then it does this, it goes back into the first part that you learned already. Oh, so it goes back into doing those open chords. Yeah. Is that cool? Does that help you? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah.